Getting into vinyl doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. I'll explain more coming up right after this. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome to Sundays and Channel 33 RPM number one for vinyl gear and more. Now, sometimes I wonder whether the videos I do actually scare people away from getting into the hobby of collecting records. Let me explain. I got this comment recently from viewer TMH and he writes, love the videos, man. I was so close to collecting vinyl, but after seeing all your great videos on how to take care of them, I have to thank you for turning me off of it, LOL. Now, full disclosure here, TMH, I know him, he is my brother-in-law, but he does speak to a greater point that I want to address, and that is that getting into vinyl isn't as convenient or as easy as streaming music, for example, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be overly complicated, and it doesn't have to break the bank. There was a time when vinyl records were for the everyday man. Every home had a record player and everyone bought records. Then, as the 1980s wound up, many of us dumped our collections. Now, fast forward a few decades and vinyl has made a comeback, but it's marketed as and treated like a premium product. We've convinced ourselves, I think, that this is a really, really complicated hobby. Of course, it doesn't have to be this way. You don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars on audio gear to get a decent sound. You also don't need fancy record cleaning gear off the top. As a matter of fact, if you're patient enough, you can find some decent gear at the thrift store. For example, I found this Sony turntable at the Salvation Army thrift store last month. If you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you've already seen photos of this turntable. It's a PST22, one of Sony's cheaper turntables from the 1980s, but it beats almost any record player you'd find at a shopping mall or a big box store today. The best thing about the semi-automatic is that it only costs $25 and it actually works just fine. If you missed it, I did a video recently about what to look for it when buying a used turntable. I will leave a link to that below this video. The thing is, I see these sorts of turntables at the thrift store quite often, particularly at this time of year, springtime, when people are doing their spring cleaning and dropping off their unwanted electronics. That said, I also realize that not all of you have the time or patience to check out thrift stores on a regular basis. Luckily, there are several brand new turntables available in the market today for $200 or less. The U-Turn Orbit gets great reviews and it starts at only 179 US dollars and that's brand new. Fluence, a Canadian audio company, has recently gotten into the turntable market as well. They have some decent looking gear with record players starting at about $200 US. I own a pair of Fluence speakers and I can tell you they are fantastic. Now these are only two of many, many options. So we've established the fact that audio gear doesn't have to be expensive. The other point I wanted to make is that taking care of your records doesn't have to be complicated. As I've talked about before, you can easily make your own record cleaning solution at home using distilled water mixed with a bit of isopropyl alcohol and a spray bottle and a lint free cloth for cleaning. It's pretty basic and simple. The bottom line is that with a minimal investment, anyone should be able to get into vinyl. This is not an exclusive club. It's a hobby that's open to everyone and anyone. Okay, 33ers, now it's your turn. What are your tips for newbies just getting into vinyl? We would love to know. Let us know in the comments below. Remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a quick like. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that button. You'll never miss another episode again. If you like this t-shirt, check this one out and tons more in the merch store. There's also a link right beside me here. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, keep on spinning.